define a function call x such that it's x over 2 when x is even and 3x plus 1 when x is odd. The interesting fact is that no matter what natural number we choose, if we follow the algorithm using the function, we eventually get to 1. This is the infamous Collard's conjecture, which remains as an open problem till date. In spite of numerous attempts, it's unproven and today we will have a look on some of the supporting arguments. Using computers, the conjecture is verified up to 2 to the power of 68. That's a pretty large number. It's quite evident from the definition that if we encounter an odd number, we apply this function. Obviously, we will get an even number after that. So the next operation will be to divide it by 2. By continuing this operation, say the next odd number we encounter is O. It's said that on an average, O is 3, 4 times X. Clearly, it means that by continuing the algorithm, on an average, we get a decreasing sequence, which obviously will lead to 1. Define a function call mean of n, which finds the minimum number we encountered in the entire process while implementing the algorithm. So we can say Kulat's conjecture holds if call mean of n equals 1 for all natural numbers n. Korek had proven that this function is less than n to the power theta where theta is greater than log of 3 over log of 4 for almost all natural numbers n. Now clearly it's a partial result but a significant one. Considering more partial results like this, Terence Tau showed the existence of the upper bounds of this function. He showed that for all function diverging to positive infinity, the Coleman of n is less than or equal to f of n for almost all n. For the notion of almost all, he used logarithmic density instead of the natural density for its beta invariant properties. With the help of computers, Krasikov and Lagardia showed that the number of integers in the closed interval 1,x which reach 1 following the algorithm is at least equal to x to the power of 0 0.84 for sufficiently large values of x.